Blaney. Hi, Dad. It's me. Oh, hi. You caught me right in the middle of a meeting, sweetheart. Uh, Big deal. You tell those old grumps you work with that your daughter just hit the big... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a little too early to be filming, I think. <laughs> you just have a baby now, and so you, everything. Everything's too early. Any time of day is too early to do anything. Yeah, that's true. But at least we get to kind of just watch watch something today. Yeah, we don't Absolutely. have to get too deep and philosophical. Yeah. So Although we might. We just might. We might. We don't really know what we're what to expect here. We've done kind of reaction videos to, to this kind of stuff before, so check the, the links, link or links in the bio for uh, more episodes like this. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna watch some some old Latter-day Saint TV commercials from uh, like the 80s. I'm so stoked. Because <laughs> the church's old stuff is just awesome. it's hilarious. <laughs> I, there's nothing, there's nowhere, no way else to say it. Yeah, and here's the thing, like you watch anything that any organization, religious or not, that they've ever done from the 80s and and, you, and it's, you're going to find stuff to laugh at, I think. So I don't know, neither of us know what we're going to be seeing here, but... Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know what we're getting into. Yeah, we'll all, we'll all see it together and yeah. see how we feel. Okay, so uh, without further ado, let's just, I'd say, let's just dive in. Let's do it. Here we go. This is already busy. golden. No, no. This is poltergeist. <laughs> It's like a paranoia. You might not make the team. No, no, I don't. Please. I love you, Brian. And you can do it. I know you can. Who he thinks he is is who he's told he is. The Mormons. Oh, that would not have flown today. Okay. Whoa. Can I just pause that? Yeah. That was creepy. I was a little bit creeped out by that. That was. That was borderline horror film. Yeah. That was like almost The Shining. <laughs> you know? The little boy behind the staircase. What, just the bars of right, the, the light railing. Through just on his face. What did he say? He's like whispered something to himself. It sounded like, please? <laughs> please? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What did he say? <laughs> I, I almost don't even want to know. I almost don't either. Just get a playback so the audience can know, but I don't... I don't want to know. Please. Okay, that was creepy. Let's see what happens next. We've Hopefully. come a long way. Yeah. I love this music. <gasps> Stranger Things. This is Cine Arcade. Is he looking for his son? He's looking for Pac-Man. <laughs> Do you know what time it is? Just a sec, Dad. No, not just a sec, now. Hold on, I'm on a street. On a street? On a street? The evil. The, the, <laughs> the, the red and the green color. Do you know that I've been waiting for you for 20 minutes? minutes? I lost track of the time. You have been losing track of a lot of things lately. Big deal! Yeah, big deal! Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I'm gonna wreck it! I don't understand <laughs> you anymore. Oh, oh! He's gonna throw in that "I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed" line. Ooh. That one just strikes you in the heart. Do you think so? I can't tell who the bad guy is yet. You know, if it's the dad or the son. Yeah, because they're both acting pretty weird. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta have a talk. I feel like this is like an Anakin Padme moment when Padme's like. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> You're going down a path I can't follow. Exactly. <laughs> Except for Padme is good, but this dad seems kind of mean. So. Oh. So talk. Yeah, Dad. Oh man. Say something. I don't know what to say. The disappointed line. What the heck? 20 minutes. How do you fill the silent spaces again. with words that express the love and concern you feel? There's a new booklet called How to Talk to Your Teenager. Write talk 
Salt Lake City, Utah, I 84150 for your free My parents might have had this. It's book. designed to help you <laughs> solve I've your seen communication this. problems. It was like a later edition. Or small. But you were the child in this commercial. I guess I was like 11 when I found <laughs> it. I you'll discover. Whoa! What the? As far what the? What the? It's gonna help Dad drive. Oh, what on earth? Okay. I, uh, that was a little dramatic for me. I, I mean, I, it kind of reflects a lot of the fears that they had about video games at the time, which is kind of interesting to see. Like, yeah. Because video games were just starting to emerge. They were seen as like this big addiction this rebellious thing that your kids are out doing late at night like if that's the worst thing your kids doing is playing at the arcade that's the least of your problems but the arcade is seedy <laughs> it's dark and rainy outside mm. i wonder if like people in like the middle ages if like their kids were getting a hold of like books and the parents were like <laughs> what are you doing reading books <laughs> reading in the library <laughs> what are you doing oh Interesting. I mean, the message is, you know, the message is always good. It's just how you convey that message. It, it gets a little bit weird. Like, I don't yeah. know that was like, was like holding, putting your hand on your dad's hand, like a, is that an 80s thing? I'm not. Must have been. I think we've just gotten more distant. I don't think I've ever done that before. I've never Maybe done Maybe I should start. That. I don't know. I wonder if my dad did that to his dad. I can't imagine it happening. Yeah, but... I'd like to see the set. I'd like to see a part two to that and, and see a resolution. I don't feel like there was a resolution. No, they just kind of. It's a cliffhanger. Held hands. Yeah, and then go buy the pamphlet, or I guess they probably it's it's the church. They're probably not going to make you buy it. They'll probably just send it to you in the mail with missionaries or something. You know? Probably. Okay, here we go. Next one. Oh, I'm I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm worried. <laughs> All right, I'll put it on the conference call next uh, Wednesday, Phil. Okay. I can already see where Bye. this is going. Uh, Ian, the dad, tell me. <laughs> he's the dad that's too heavily involved in business mm. and work that he mm. doesn't have time for his kids or his mm. wife. You might be right. I want to get straight onto this thing and clear up that whole... Blaney. Hi, Dad. It's me. Oh, hi. You caught me right in the middle of a meeting, sweetheart. Uh... Big deal. You tell those old grumps you work with that your daughter just hit the big... Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm pretty darn sure this is like a 30-year-old woman trying to sound like a teenager. <laughs> but uh, also, was her name Blaney? Blaney? Is that an Blaney? 80s thing too? I've never heard that name. I don't. Did you hear them say? Mm, I didn't hear. Anything. I'm gonna go back. I just not that it matters because you know everyone's a child of God. But <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna replay this a second. Under this thing and clear up that whole. Blaney. Hi, Dad. It's me. Oh, oh hi. You that's his name. Yeah, it must be his last name. Gotcha. Blaney. Mm, okay. okay. All right. We can continue. You caught me right in the middle of a meeting, sweetheart. Uh, big deal. You tell those old grumps you work with that your daughter just hit the big time. Wendy, I'll have to call you back. It's the uh, dance uh, company. They loved my audition, and I joined the show in January, starting here in Chicago. Yeah, I'm when... touring all over the place. Also, Wendy. also, I found an apartment. So what do you think? Uh, that that's great, sweetheart. Now look, I'm gonna have to get back. She is okay, better. I love you. Yeah, right. Bye. I love you, Dad. Bye. Yeah, right. Dad? Yeah, I'll what call you the... that. Okay, let's wrap it up for now. <laughs> the people in your heart can't see inside your heart. They need to hear what's in your heart from you. If you love her, let them know it every day. A oh, message from the, the classic Church, dad. Jesus Christ of wow. Latter-day Saints. Has to be cool Lord. in front of his friends. Oh, yeah. That was... I, I, I was right. That you was, were right. I, I just have to say that. They're already, like, starting to cipher yeah. off, and he's, like, trying to... Co I think he just didn't like his daughter. Around. He just didn't want to talk to her. That's what I mean, comes clearly. Yeah, yeah. She said, I love you, and he said, yeah, right. Yeah, right. And then hung up. <laughs> <laughs> it's that dad basically shut his daughter down. It reminds me of... Of on uh, okay, I watch The Bachelor. Okay, okay, I watch it. I watch it, and I'm ashamed of it. It's okay. It, the, the, this is not a time for confessions today. It's uh, <laughs> that's between you and your bishop. I guess so. <laughs> um, when the 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 people the contestants are always like, I just want to tell you, I love you, and the guy's like, thank you for sharing that. And then just like doesn't like say anything else back, but like 
every girl that comes and says it, he's like, thank you for sharing that. <laughs> and this guy's like, his daughter's like, I love you. And he's like, thank you for sharing that. I got to go now. Bye. Uh, it's just interesting. Uh, all right, next one. And now a few words about raising children. Run, jump, climb, walk, laugh, and cry. Throw, okay. fetch, okay. play, catch, fetch. and slide. Listen, swim, eat, grin, cook, and cheer. Oh, I'm digging Can't this. Wait, talk straight. Woo, be there. Oh, Whoa, that was just amazing. <laughs> Did you see that <laughs> child? Whoosh. That child. Flu! <laughs> we have to watch that again, okay. Giggle, wait, talk straight! Woo! Wow! Yeah. Love isn't just something you see. That smacked the water. Oh my gosh. I'm glad that made it into this commercial. I wonder how many takes they had to do for that. <laughs> well, they all look like home videos, you know. Say, it's something you do. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. <laughs> that was actually... That was actually kind of entertaining. Yeah, that was good. I liked that one. Yeah. It was I, groovy. I feel like if they had one like that was like a similar, maybe, you know, make the music a little better and have it not look like it was made on your old VHS home video c recorder. But like, like a, a commercial of that style would be really awesome even nowadays. Yeah. Happy kids. Everybody loves happy kids. Yeah. Happy families. Yeah. Better than those terrible arcades. You know, <laughs> you don't want to see kids there. Man. No. no. How to grow love in your own front yard. Oh, I love gardening. Oh. I feel attacked. <laughs> Already. I love the music. This is just so classic. And... I feel like we're about to start, like, an episode of Family Matters yeah. or... Right? <laughs> Something. It feels like Full House. Full House was 90s, but it's pretty close to, I f yeah, late 80s, early 90s, I feel like it's the style of dress here. It's kind of where we're headed. I'd, I'd like to see some windbreakers, I'm not going to lie, but I like the I like the colors and the floral stuff. That's coming back now anyways, you could wear that today. Yeah. yeah. Streamers! Ooh. Yes. Ooh, that dog. Did you see the person just kind of weirdly hanging out the window for a while? I missed that, was there? <laughs> Was there someone in a gorilla suit walked by or anything? <laughs> no, that would have been awesome. One of those commercials. It was just, they were just like hanging out the window. Huh. I missed it. Just kind of weird. Sorry. We can keep going. Oh, yeah. Oh, what they're just... What were they doing to that chair? Okay, birthday party. Oh, oh, my gosh. We all float down here. <laughs> can I say that? Yeah, you can say that. Uh, watch it on VidAngel. Yeah. That ladder appears quite frequently. They must it, yeah. be doing a lot up there. Get a lot of things stuck. Love isn't Somewhere. just something you say, it's something you do. It's From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I thought that one was great. I liked it a lot. What did you think? It was nice. Uh, it was nice. <laughs> it reminds me of warm summer evenings. On a warm summer's evening. On a train bound for nowhere. And... Ice cream cones and hammocks, probably because there were ice cream cones and hammocks on a warm summer evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was good. Makes you want to go home and hang with the fam. Get a ladder. Get a ladder so you can get all that stuff off of your roof. Yeah. That your kids just get constantly stuck up there. Which is weird because he probably could have just climbed out of that window that somebody was hanging out of. You know what? That's a really good point. You didn't really even need that. That ladder. window went right onto the roof. And where were they bringing that ladder from anyways? Like, it didn't come from behind the house. Right. It came it from like off screen from somewhere. In the front yard. A driveway somewhere. They took that ladder yeah. from their neighbor's house. <laughs> brought it over when they could have just gone out the window. It's a good neighbor. What kind of values are these commercials teaching anyways? <laughs> I... I enjoyed it. The whole clown sequence was a bit frightening, but a little bit, especially with the cinematography, the like yeah, the, the blurriness. Like, kind of blurry. Yeah, that was it's a little fun. Yeah. Anyways, that's how to grow love in your front yard. <laughs> in case you were wondering, clowns and ladders from your neighbor. <laughs>
They didn't even use the sprinklers. No fertilizer yeah. necessary. No. Just a creepy clown and a ladder. <laughs> I like these old commercials. I like that the church like made an attempt, you know. I and and I think they were good for their day, right? Yeah. Like it was the, the fact 80s. that those things were airing on TV. Yeah. Like that's cool. I, think, I don't know how far into the world they were airing, or if it was just a local thing, but still. Yeah. I think any attempt at, at you know promoting the importance of families and spending time with your family and interacting with your kids and trying to break through to your kids when they're, you know, going to the arcade and stuff. I know. I think it's a great thing. So I appreciate that the church says these. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think we've come a long way since then. Yeah. It reminds me a lot of Saturday's Warrior. That Jelly Blender's original! <laughs> yeah, that's what I, when I said My Turn on Earth, that mm. was like an old musical mm. from the 70s. Taught some some incorrect doctrines a little bit, <laughs> some speculatory <laughs> things, kind of like Saturday's Warrior. It was along the same vein. Does it have the same glow effect? Everything and everyone is glowing. Yeah, totally grew up with the music though. That so must be an '80s it's thing. Classic. Everything from the '80s is just a little weird, except for maybe that M&M's commercial with Santa Claus. I don't know if that was the 80s or not, but when the M&Ms go in and they see Santa and they're like, he does exist. And Santa's like, Hello. they do exist. <laughs> they that, play that one still. Yeah. What? I don't think that was the 80s. Was it 90s? I don't know. Or early it was, thousands? It was I probably don't know. 90s. I was old enough to know that. Kind I guess of. they have CGI M&Ms. Yeah. That, mm. If it was made in the 80s, they would have been animatronic. Is it? <laughs> that would have been terrifying. <laughs> Disturbing. Oh, anyways, you gotta love it. It's part of history, you know? Yeah. You can and smile at it and laugh at it, but good on them for, for going for it. Yeah. Thanks <laughs> Thanks for watching. This was this was quite enjoyable for us. I hope it was equally as enjoyable for you. Uh, go look for more Mormon TV commercials, hmm. because that's, I guess it was still acceptable back then, because they were throwing it underneath the logo. Oh, to use the term Mormon? Yeah. Yeah, I think we should remake one of these with I was the actually cast of thinking Saints the same Unscripted. Thing. <laughs> Before we even started, I was like, I should, I should pitch that idea to them. <laughs> you get to wear the floral dress with the poofy sleeves. <laughs> as long as you wear, like, the giant thick Coke bottle glasses. Oh, yeah. Just, like, hang on your oh, face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need to do an, another episode where we react to those, uh, the Mormon ads, where it's got, like, the picture of, like, the... The, yes. the hands with all the oh, black paint on yeah. them, and you're like, oh, like sin. The, the cutting words. Went, those were like the first memes. You yeah, that? they were. Like, picture, caption. Like, that was the original meme, was the Mormon ad. They were good. Except they weren't funny, usually. They were just really overly dramatic. I thought they were funny. <laughs> <laughs> They're like dad jokes, They were trying basically. to be funny. Some of them were funny. They had like... I remember. Well, we'll maybe we'll do an episode and we'll get into it. We should do an episode where we react to Saturday. Oh my gosh! We just, we just get that out there. I think that'd be fun. We need the comments to to back up that suggestion. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching again. Be good. Be prayerful. Be humble. Be all those good things. And uh, yeah, see you next time. See ya.